In this video, we're going to talk about how to place Photoshop files within InDesign natively and use some of the Photoshop features that uh, we can't really get whenever we save out a flattened file in InDesign. This is a really cool feature of InDesign and really, really useful. So right now I have a transparent document, just a transparent layer right here, and I'm in CMYK color mode. If you're not, you can go image mode and change it to CMY color. The reason I'm using this is because I know that I'm going to be printing this document and I want my colors to be accurate. So let's go ahead and just draw a simple shape. Use the elliptical marquee tool. I'll draw a circle. Then I'm going to use my gradient tool and I'm going to switch over to gradient from black to transparent. We'll do a radial gradient and I'll just draw out from there. And I'm just going to save this file. So I've saved the file as a PSD, not as any other type of format. And now I'm going to place that. So I can go File, Place, and I find my file. And whenever I open up a PSD file, it might take some time, but eventually it will place it. Basically, it works just like any other file. It has transparency, so we can move it wherever we like. We can scale it up and down. and we have this actively placed PSD file. I'm gonna switch back to Photoshop. Let's make another layer in Photoshop and this time I'll do a different shape. Now let's save this Photoshop file, so Command S, Control S, and whenever we go back to InDesign, it's going to give us a little notification. In InDesign it says modified, click to update. Alternatively, we can find this in the links panel. We'll talk more about the links panel later, but I simply click this and now it's updated my file. And here I have my new file. So now we have a dynamic file that we can come back to Photoshop and edit, make changes and automatically it will update in InDesign. Now this is really powerful because we can um, you know, get it actually on the page and find out, well, you know, that color doesn't really work or that size doesn't really work and play around with that and really get a great result.